Hey, this is Derek Willis from DerekWillis.com here to do a review on a waterproof case for your iPhone or Blackberry or any other touchscreen device. So let's open the box and see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. Sorry for the uh, non-unboxing, but I uh, didn't really think it was uh, important to show you how I take everything out of the box. I'll just show you the components. First we have the aqua box itself, which is here. And it is designed for kind of a universal fit. iPhones, uh, some of the Blackberry touch screens, some of the other Android devices. However, they can't be the four inch screen or the four and a half inch screen Android devices. They just won't fit. I'm gonna show you in a minute a uh, iPhone 3G that I have in the box and I'll put it in the box. It also comes with a floatable lanyard which I guess is a good idea in case you drop it in the pool or something. You don't have to worry about it sinking to the bottom. Uh, it also comes with a regular lanyard and an instruction manual. So I'm going to bring the device here a little closer to the camera and kind of show you. I don't know if it might be difficult for you to see, but the, the front of this is like a silicon material. And that's how it allows your touch screen part to work. And on the back... It's just just hard plastic, so your camera or phone, your um, video camera can just shoot through the back. I'm, I'm assuming a front facing wouldn't work that well because it would be kind of blurry. So let me show you how the phone works. Okay, so here we have the case, and as you can see on the right side near the top, there's a there's a little switch here that we can flip, and then you just turn it clockwise, and it pops open. And there you can see the silicon material, and it has a nice gasket that goes all the way around. Now, uh, before I tested my iPhone 4, which is what I'm using to record this video, I um, tried my old 3G just to make sure that it didn't leak, because obviously if it ruined this phone, it would not be as big of a catastrophe if it did my 4. So pretty much you just put it in the case and close the top, and you want to turn it back counterclockwise and then flip the switch down and there you go it's in the case now actually the the 3G fits in the case a little bit better than the 4 uh, because it's a little bit thicker so it doesn't rattle around quite as much but uh, I was recently at a swimming pool and um, took some underwater footage and that's what I'm going to show you next so enjoy it here it comes Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm going to show you what the device looks like. Um, you can see that you can scroll through and uh, you can go and, and hit any of your icons here on the, on the desktop. They all work fine. And uh, the only thing I, I really noticed about it, which was a problem, was using this in bright sunlight. Uh, the iPhone screen is just not designed to be in bright sunlight, so it doesn't doesn't give you a very good um, indication of what you're taking a picture of or video and but that's that's the biggest um, hiccup so I've got a list of pros and cons I will show you now and uh, you can make a decision whether this box is right for you the aqua box all right I made a list of pros and cons and I thought you guys would appreciate this real high-tech method of, of showing you my pros and cons but anyway I didn't feel like editing this on the computer I just wanted to drop it into iTunes here or uh, iMovie on the phone and do the editing so the first uh, pro is that it actually works. I took it about five feet under uh, in the swimming pool, and it made some some sounds in the beginning that sounded like water was going inside, but it's just there was some water going around, I believe, the top edge of the phone uh, or of the case, and uh, no, no water got inside, so it actually does work. Uh, multiple applications, uh, according to the box here, your iPhone, BlackBerry, or other touchscreen device, you just have to kind of check the measurements and make sure it'll actually fit. The floating lanyard, that's actually a nice little uh, 
nice little option here to have that with you um, just in case you you know you accidentally drop your phone if you're in the ocean or something it may be a lot more useful than a swimming pool because obviously you could just dive down and get it but that is a nice option so let me show you the cons next okay the cons for the aqua box first uh, expensive well it's $35 um, and that's not cheap, but there again, for what you're getting, I don't think it's too bad. So, not really sure that's a con, but just so you know, $35 US. The iPhone 4 actually rattles inside of the enclosure because it's thinner than the uh, iPhone 3G. And since this is a universal case, it's not designed to fit, you know, really tight. So, the phone can rattle, and you may have noticed that in my video that I showed. You may have heard it. Uh, hit the you know hit the enclosure the sound well <laughs> you know I'm being kind of tough here the sound is actually muffled but it does actually transfer sound through the box which is actually really cool but the quality is kind of muffled so that's uh, that's being a little harsh but I just wanted to let you know the iPhone screen is difficult to see in bright sunlight that's not really a fault of the box but I tried attempted to go the cheap route I guess and um, turn my iPhone into an underwater camera so I wouldn't have to buy an underwater camera but really I think this box is best for um, people who want to take their phone or take their touchscreen device into an area where it may get wet it may get sand on it this device will protect it from that so it, it's not really a replacement for an underwater camera or an underwater camcorder but it does work so there you have it, my review of the Aquabox for your iPhone or other touchscreen devices that will actually fit in the case. And um, my overall conclusion is it works great for what it does. It will not replace a underwater camera or camcorder. And that's not a fault of the device, it's actually a fault of the cell phone that you're using because the screens are not, uh, are not good enough usually to do that. So anyway... Hope you enjoyed the review of the Aqua Box. Check it out. We got him.